Hello, I want to show you how you can solve cash flow problems with this uh, uh, HP Hewlett Packard calculator. Sorry for my English, I learned only two years in high school and my native language is Hungarian, so I try my best. Uh, the problem is uh, comes from the internet, in a f from the Facebook group, and I uh, want to show how you can solve it with this calculator and on a scientific Texas calculator and the new one Casio class with calculator. Okay, what is the problem itself? Uh, you have a uh, five years cash flow uh, and initial cash flow is zero and you have 40, 41, 42, 43, and 45 uh, cash flows during this period. One period is one year and uh, you have 10% annual uh, interest rate. What is the net present value in this case? Okay, let's first on this calculator. So if you don't want any garbage in the memory, first you must do clear the cash flow memory. Blue shift clear memory and cash flow. Okay. And you can set one period per year, one cash flow per year in the year. Red and period per year. Okay. 10% annual interest rate. Okay, zero the first cash flow, zero cash flow. Okay, 40, 41, 42, 3 and 4. And then you can calculate the net present value, red and NPV, 100, uh, 58.5 approximately. If you change, uh, swap the variables, you can see the future value, net future value, this calculator able to calculate that uh, value. Okay, let's see the same on the Texas. For, uh, it is very easy because this calculator can store the formula. So uh, this is very simple. You can copy, yes. So you can see in this calculator you have a, a sum uh, function and this is the net present value formula, very easy to implement. In the variable x you can see the years from one year to five year and in the nominator you can see the cash flows and in the denominator 1.1 uh, this is the annual rate and the power to the actual uh, year and the sum you can calculate it easily the same value this is the net present value. On this calculator you can do the same in the same way. You have a sum function here. Okay. You can write here the cash flow 40 plus the x minus 1. This will calculate the cash flow value for each year. And here you can 1 and 10% raise to the year. And the years from 1 year to 5 and let's see this is same, of course. Okay, thanks for watching and you can see not 
important to calculate uh, financial functions on a financial calculator. You can do the same on a scientific calculator if you have the sum function. Thanks again and see you later.